Today I'm building a symmetrical house in Bloxburg. And this brilliant idea came from a fan called Bailey Bean 1837 And I think Forty also did this video. Let's name it Summary Symmetry Check. Oh. Let's do this! We're gonna start off by doing an X. And you guys might be thinking, is this the X factor? <laughs> No, this is actually a little life hack to find the center of a plot. And I'm going to go for a farmhouse vibe because I'm pretty sure farmhouses are pretty symmetrical. And I'm trying to work out in my mind what is the easiest way going to be to do this. I think perhaps build a line in the front and then we'll build this side first. So it's not going to be too much of a big house. You sure about that? And the rule of thumb is don't really make a wall longer than seven. So we'll make this four and then six. And we bring it back in. And this is going to be the one side of our house. So we can basically copy that onto the other side. Oh, we've reached our first bump in the road, the roofs. I'm surely this would be easy, right? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. If we were just to do a pointy roof, that is symmetrical because if we put a line right through the middle, that is the same either side. However, one of you guys actually commented and was like, Reese's, use the slanted roof and do two of them. And I thought, what a better video to try that and then the symmetrical house. It didn't look too bad, but I don't know, why would you do this rather than just put in a normal one. However, I'm planning on doing a custom roof. I want to add a window in it a little bit like this symmetrical house. Ignore the Nokia quality. <laughs> These are normally pretty straightforward to do. We add a wall in the middle to know exactly where the center is. And then we place a bunch of flat squares and then we're gonna resize them into a roof shape. So this is what I've done so far. Obviously it's a symmetrical house. So I've only done half at this point, but I did want to move on to pillars. I'm quite a chaotic builder in that way. These pillars really give me farmer, like farmer Gerald or farmer Bob. <laughs> I don't know who those people are, but they're my new besties. You could probably start to trickle over onto this side. And we're not gonna talk about how the back looks, okay? It looks atrocious. Also, I love how I said at the beginning, this is gonna be so small. So it's not gonna be too much of a big house. And it's literally like bigger than my mansion. <laughs> I like what I see and I'm not just talking about my beautiful avatar. We're obviously gonna make custom windows. I feel like normal windows are just too basic in this day and age. You're basic. And this is gonna be like Lana Del Rey, coquette, vintage vibe. I'm gonna try to put a lot of effort into these windows. I sound like those comments who are like, he put so much effort into his video. Which to be fair, I really do love those comments, but there's so many bots. Is that aesthetic or is that giving prison? <laughs> I actually think that looks rather nice and it's copy and pasteable, perfect. It. And even on things as silly as these windows, we've got to make sure it's all completely even. Okay, so we've got six on that side, so we'll obviously have to put six on this side. Next up is texture. Check the texture. And I know the perfect texture. It's called vertical planks. That is giving such like beach house. And if we're staying on that topic, we might as well make a cute flower bed. Where does the word flower bed come from? Because this don't look like no bed to me. <laughs> I absolutely love the greenery in Bloxburg. I honestly think if you want to take your build from zero to a hundred, just add plants because it helps so much. This was this window before plant. And this is it with greenery. As you can tell, a huge difference. And I've just realized, oh my goodness. I have to copy that exactly on the other side. Oh, Jesus. I remember we have like three of these, a little one of these in the corner. We also have some sunflower. 10 years later. And beautiful, this actually looks really symmetrical. And this roof is gonna start to annoy me if we don't finish it, so. There we go, the other side is done, but our work is definitely not finished yet. I'm attempting to custom make windows up here. So we obviously need two bases and we've got to make these even. We've put this white panel of glass in. It kind of looks like a stained glass window. So we are kind of tapping into like a church vibe here. With all that jibber jabber though, we've actually got the windows in. We're obviously not leaving it like this. This is where the challenge is coming in clutch. I'm a bit scared to even add other beams and simply add three lines. <laughs> <laughs> this actually looks way better than I expected. And with that, the roof is done. That only took one hour. And then a front door is kind of where this gets a little bit tricky. How is there not enough space, girly pop? Because the only other way we could do it is if we did like a double door like that. I'm gonna do the front driveway now. And we've got to try and do this as meticulously and detailedly as possible. Again, I'm just to be safe, I'm doing it one by one. If we texture it concrete without color, then it actually links up to the road. And honestly, this isn't even that expensive so far. I don't normally show the value till the end, but this is only $51,000 so 
far. And look at what you get for that small price. A good thing about Bloxburg is that obviously it's a video game. <laughs> So pretty much everything is genetically engineered to be symmetrical, like this fountain, for example. Also, guys, while I'm doing this grass, I have such a funny story time. I was at school today, just casually at school, you know, mind my own business. I walk into my class, yeah, and I pop out a mint, just a lovely little mint mento, I think it was, or something. And do you know what my teacher says to me? Get out of my class. I say, excuse me? Get out. Go and do your work in the library. I was so confused, so I just went home. And now I'm filming a video, so... Anyways, here I'm adding some custom pillars. And we can actually put these symmetrical gates. Okay, apparently we can't. Maybe if we put the titanium. And then we put these fence gates. That works. Normally I'd scatter plants all around the front, but I really can't be bothered for the ag of doing that symmetrically. Instead, we're going to use cherry blossom trees. I forgot we were meant to add garages, but I actually completely forgot to do that. I guess that's what we can add in these front porches. And this is where it's going to get expensive, guys. Symmetrical cars it's my lucky day we have two breeze convertibles and two nubus limousines we'll finish this little garden off with some noob statues final couple touches we need to do are on the roof i'm thinking we do a pointy one. Oh my gosh yeah that is nice actually that is different <laughs> if it's unusual guys i might actually make this my new blocksburg house i'm not even joking i don't know what type of house has two chimneys but mine apparently I'm finally just adding a bit of detail to the sides and this is what i came up with i think all around it looks super symmetrical, super farmhouse. I think the interior is really where the symmetry is gonna get hard. This is actually a nice layout for a family home. My dream, guys, is to have double curved staircase in my real life house. The only thing is then, how are we meant to get into this room here? Oh, all I'm seeing is problems. I need solutions. We can actually make it look a little bit more cute and symmetrical by having these recessed stairs. Look, then we can just have this really open foyer, which is kind of in the shape of a H. The floor, I'm gonna do checkers, my classic. I'm gonna use carpets to do them. It looks like, you know what? It looks like RuPaul's house. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm loving it though, or if it's giving me like a major headache. In really fancy mansions, they will always have like a, a table in the entryway. But we can use this to our advantage in the symmetry sense. The symmetry is not always about having two of everything on each side. It can just be one thing, because if we again cut this through the middle, it's completely the same. Should we go for an indoor outdoor look? I mean, it is a farmhouse after all. I've just added a couple more bits and bobs. Like like a little coffee table. Finally in this room, I'm just gonna give you guys one storage unit here, but it's kind of custom. I'm using the most obvious building hacks ever. Every single atom in my body wants to go and put golden egg in every single one of these. Stop it. Get some help. If I just crashed right now or got disconnected, I would actually cry. The final thing we need to now do in this entryway is obviously add lighting. So hey, 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 people. The first room I'm going to do is the kitchen. And I already know I want the walls to be next level in here. This is literally the perfect size for a big kitchen without making it go overboard. I say that, but I'm about to buy a seven grand fridge. <gasps> this needs to be symmetrical. No, it's fine. I just had a mini panic attack. I'm having a panic attack right now. I need to calm down. But I've realized... We we're gonna have to have just a kitchen on each side. <laughs> So we might as well actually just start doing it on this side. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I almost threw the challenge when we're already this fur. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was my ham sandwich I had for lunch. This challenge is actually quite good for me because I actually struggle to think of rooms to put. So this is actually essentially halving the amount of thought I have to put into this. I've even added some glass. So we can like try and put bowls in here. I'm even going to make the table wear like symmetrical. We're just going to have two on each side. There's got to be an easier way to do this. That same one over on this side. Next up is an island. And I actually learned a really cool building hack the other day. Basically, what you do is you get a sink and then you're going to put this sink onto a very very slightly raised up basic shape you get a sink built in on the island and here's my very very symmetrical bookcase why does that actually look so good anyway those are the kitchens done never thought i'd say that so i don't know what should we do a dining room or a living room i think honestly our best bet is to do a living room layered wooden plank these rooms are going to be especially where you're going to be able to notice the simmer sim simmery normally i like to put a sofa there and then i do like two armchairs on this side but not today sweetheart we're gonna have to actually put two coffee tables because it's such a big distance. I would add a candle, but we're going to have to copy and paste this a few times. So it might uh, set the place on fire. I like the pillows big and chunky. Oh my gosh, this is so 
trippy. From every detail, even the roof beams, it's gonna be symmetrical. The same on the other side, Clay. Brilliant! For upstairs, I hope you guys understand, I've literally been building like three hours. So I'm only gonna do the hallway and then one bedroom either side, obviously. So from every detail, even down to the bedroom doors, we've got to make sure that this is obviously even. I'm actually such a fan of those downstairs shelves. I want to use them up here as well. And if one bench wasn't enough, that's perfect because you're getting two in the Reese's household. A painting either side, which I'll obviously make sure is exactly the same. And geez, I'm so sorry if you guys can hear wind in the background. In England right now, it's like a windstorm. And I know what you're thinking. Another one. Not another one. Yes, another one, guys. English weather is not it. But here we go. This is our even hallway. So like I said, one bedroom to do and I think we should make it pretty royal and we're going to start with blue wallpaper and for once I'm going to do a single bed just like a little cute princess single bed and the decoration with this really comes with like the bed comforter etc is it just me or is this giving you like Peter Pan Tinkerbell vibe so the pillows are obviously in sync and these bedside tables will be too storage wise we'll give her a nice pink dresser two mirrors which is absolutely perfect oh that's actually scary I feel like when I see two mirrors it's going to like create a Minecraft nether portal. We don't know how old the person is in this room. Probably quite young. Gonna add some toy like the little unicorn and the platypus. Then I just obviously added that to the other side. And with that guys, our symmetrical house is done. Five hours later. <laughs> do, do, do. Look at my cool house. Honestly, guys, this is my favorite building I've ever done. I like to show you guys the value, and it's less than 500,000 Bloxbergian dollars. But if we're focusing on the challenge aspect, from the outside, I perfectly replicated this. I think if we put this next to each other, it looks the same. But the real challenge has started when we ventured inside. So we can go through one of our two doors. It just looks so funny. <laughs> As you walk in, you can kind of tell something's a little bit off. Just looks a little bit too neat. So first of all, we have two of everything in the entry hall and even includes the stairs. The first room on the left is the lounge. To be fair, honestly, this doesn't look too bad. I could definitely have made it better if we didn't have the symmetry. But overall, it's a really nice room. And then you think, oh, what's over here? Well, it's exactly the same. It's like a mirror image. And then if we go forward, guess what's in here? A kitchen. The kitchen is gorgeous. We have the kitchen rules. No complaint. No whining. No late arrival. Period. That's all my rules. This kitchen is genuinely so, so cute and well thought out in my eyes. And if we go opposite, any guesses what we have? Oh yeah, another kitchen. It's actually really, really trippy, like walking straight into the exact same room. Then if we go upstairs, we've obviously got the hallway. Once again, is exactly symmetrical. And our bedrooms, which are so cute. Like this literally looks like a little princess's bedroom. And the best part is if you have twins, then they can just have this one. Oh, I love symmetry. That was me building a symmetrical house in Bloxburg. If you liked it, do subscribe to the channel. I think I might actually renovate this into my real house in a future video, maybe for members. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you all next time.